What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Need for Speed Unbound. We just got some new gameplay today, a risk and reward gameplay trailer. So it's only about a minute and 30 seconds, um, but I think I wanted to continuously see more gameplay from this. I've been hearing some good feedback on this trailer so far. I have not seen it yet. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I just don't I the effects if the effects are gone I'm good that's all that I'm gonna say the effects are gone I'm good but the oh my god the cars look so crisp and there's pedestrians have we ever had pedestrians in need for speed games I think this is a first okay you know live up the city a little bit liven up the city okay Ooh. Cut. So the okay, normal cop takedowns. We love that. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Here's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back, go back, go back. Are those? What are these? Okay, so these are. So we got challenges. It looks like so weekly, like daily challenges, um, through different weeks. Uh, you guys can't really see behind my head, but qualifier. So there's a qualifier on Saturday. You have a specific car needed. A six, okay, so it's kind of like uh, the pink slip races, essentially. Um, because you get a GTR pre. Ooh, you get a GTR premium. Okay. Dude, the gameplay just the driving just looks so smooth though, man. The camera angles, the lighting. Because I think with Need for Speed too, the Need for Speed games are always so dark a lot of the times, and oh, I don't like that paint job on that GT. Okay. Okay, let's watch this again. I want to take a peek at this a little bit more. But yeah, the lighting, the sounds of the vehicles, the lighting, it looks so good. It's the effects, man. I I saw someone, uh, people were telling me in my last Need for Speed video that you can turn off the effects, which is good because they're going off for me. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh, shoot. So one thing that I noticed in this trailer <clears throat> and one thing that I've noticed continuously over the gameplay that we've seen so far from this is there's a lot of cops. There's a lot of just a lot of cops that are involved in the races, which I love. I think it's going to bring a, a different dynamic to the races. And as long as these cops, so it looks like there's heat level again. So heat level four, this guy's got a heat level four. Um, as long as the cops are not just useless and they're actually relevant and they make these races interesting, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I want the cops to get involved in these games. It makes things so much more fun, in my opinion, when you have another challenge on top of just beating other races. So it looks like there's just like a whole pink slip area. So I'm assuming there's going to be a story mode. Bet against rivals. Okay, what is this? Predict results. Challenge your racer for the chance to win extra cash. Um, oh, can you predict? Predicted. Oh, predicted results. Here we go. Um, so it looks like you can bet on each racer. I wonder if you can bet on a specific placing that they're going to have. And if you bet on a specific placing, then you get even more money. It, that That's what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. Mm. All different cars, though. All different cars. It's not like... So there's a classes, right? It seems like there's a class level for the cars. But if you're looking here in this previous uh, shot, you got like, you know, <clears throat> you got a G-Wagon. Then you got, a, obviously, a Mustang here. Looks like that's a Honda over there. You got a Nissan. Is that a 370? I don't know off the top of my head. I'm trying to be good with cars, but I'm not usually amazing at it. So, uh, looks like a BMW over there. So, I mean, like, that's also another thing, too, is I feel like once you get to a specific class, you can only use specific cars. I think Forza does that, like, the wrong way. Oh, yeah, though. No. But it just, the effects look so good, man. Smooth. Smooth as butter. Love it. But the visual, like, the, again, 
I'm gonna stop complaining about these. Like the the effects in the game of how the car looks. Love it. Love how that looks. The actual like special effects with the smoke and the paint. Get rid of it. Obviously, it, it is the um. You know, it, it's obviously the. What's the word I'm looking for? The design of this specific game, which I totally understand. I get it. It's what they're going for. It's cool. I just don't want to be seeing all that stuff when I'm driving. That Just plain and simple. That's it. Like, I just want to be focusing on driving my vehicle in the streets of whatever city that we're in. So, um, all in all, though, every single time we get new gameplay for this game, I get more and more excited for this game. Okay? I think I love... Need for Speed. I love the series. I've always loved the series. And the fact that they're just continuing to make more and more, I think is good. They just got to get it right, man. They got to get the balance right. They got to get the driving right. They got to get everything. I just feel like it's kind of fallen off over the last couple of years with some of the, the you know, the recent titles that we've gotten. So I'd love to see this one make a huge splash and people get really, really excited for it. So if you are as excited for this game as I am, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Also hit that subscribe button. We will be doing a full playthrough of Need for Speed Unbound when this game does come out uh, at the end of the year. So without further ado, guys, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video.